Hello again and welcome back to the cigar area. I'm Mike Simmons and tonight we're going to be smoking the Monte Cristo Espada Estoque. This is a limited edition, slightly different version of the fairly newly released Monte Cristo Espada. Espada means sword in Spanish. Estoque means rapier. This is the bullfighter sword. Uh, you can see the difference between these two wrappers. Uh, the original Espada, it's an all Nicaraguan tobacco. This is uh, manufactured in conjunction with Placencia. This is all Placencia farm tobacco. Uh, it has a 2010 wrapper, 2009 binder, 2008 mixture of fillers. Some Lahiro in there, uh, all, mostly all Jalapa grown. Uh, whereas the Estoque is a 2013 wrapper. Uh, and I believe it's a 2002 binder and then there's some 2009 and 2002 vintages blended for the fillers so now that I got all that out of the way wow thank god uh, a lot of bands on these cigars uh, the Estoque has nice silver touches whereas the Regular Espada, when I say regular, I don't mean that to diminish this cigar in any way, shape, or form. These are hardly any anything but regular. Both have the uh, triple band on. Uh, this one has sort of a certificate type band on on the bottom that's connected to this, and the larger band at the top and a band on the foot. I keep showing you both of these because uh, I am going to be reviewing the other one as well, the original Spada. And this one has a black and shiny silver with pictures of the rapiers on there. The Estoque doesn't come in too well in focus because of the shininess of the uh, of the uh, band. Very rich earthy tobacco smell to it. Uh, this is a five or a six by fifty. Uh, this is the only size this comes in with the very sharp torpedo tip. Whereas the regular Espada comes in I say regular, I should say original Espada comes in three sizes. The one I will be reviewing coming up will be the uh, Ricasso, which is a, I think it's a five or five and a half by fifty-two, I believe. Not quite sure, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. But let's get this guy cut, fired up, and see what happens. Uh, foot band slides right off, thankfully. We're faced with a dilemma with these cigars. Do you take the middle band off before you fire it up, or do you wait until after? Usually when you leave the band on as long as possible the heat that generates within the cigar will soften the glue a bit not always as we all know and as we've all torn many bands off of cigars it 
doesn't always work, but sometimes it does. Okay, on the first puff, rich, dark, earthy, and a nice, strong spice on the finish. Slight underlying leather flavor coming through there. We're only at the start. Pepper is pretty potent on the on the uh, retro hail too. So let's uh, let's take the uh, espada estoque through the first third. We'll see what progresses. I'll be back. Okay, welcome back to the cigar area with the Monte Cristo Espada Estoque. Uh, I had to come back a little sooner than I wanted to because I got a unfortunate curve in the burn here. It's getting dangerously close to this middle band. Luckily, I was able to slide it up a little bit to uh, try to get it to straighten out a little bit, but it doesn't want to cooperate. So I'm going to attempt to take this off. These can prove to be difficult. Sometimes they come right off, sometimes they don't. And this one's going to separate Well, that was easy enough. Let's see if this part that's truly in danger here of burning into my ash comes off as well. Yes! Okie dokie. Well, you can see, I got a bit of a dive there. Might have to touch that up, not sure. Shiny. Classy. With the beautiful rapiers on there. Very nice. I love Nicaraguan cigars. I love Nicaraguan tobacco. I love the earthiness and the spiciness. Uh, flavors in this changed a bit from that initial first one or two puffs. That leather flavor is gone. The spice, it's a nice black pepper spice on my tongue. On the finish, enhanced in the retro hail. Uh, the main flavor is a very earthy tobacco flavor. Uh, there is a, a slight underlying sweetness to it, almost like a, a molasses, a vanilla molasses type flavor, but it's very subtle. Uh, I'm expecting some complexity with this as I get further through, so. I'm going to work my way into the second third and see if this burn straightens out, see if the flavors change, be back. Okay, welcome back to the cigar area. Uh, the Monte Cristo Espada Estoque. Uh, you can see in the second third the burn straightened itself out quite nicely. Flavors have, uh, there's a, there's a nice strong coffee sort of espresso flavor that creeped its way in there and is pretty prominent at this point. The profile has remained basically the same except for the addition of the coffee. It's earthy, very rich coffee and a nice uh, black pepper spice on the finish. Not too bold of a spice, it's just nice. It's a medium, definitely medium body cigar. It's a shame this only comes in one size. I'd actually like to, to try this in a maybe a 54, 56, even a 60 ring gauge. Uh, not a torpedo. Uh, I just think it would it would just add a lot more to the cigar. Uh, I was straightening something out on the dates too. I, I think I said 
so many vintages and so many dates in this. This is a, uh, that's a vintage of 2013 wrapper, the 2002 binder, and the fillers are uh, 2009 uh, Esteli and 2013 Ametepe and 2013 uh, Condega. So it's a little different than what I originally said. These are a limited uh, production. They only made uh, 5,000 boxes. I think it was 50,000 cigars altogether. This is a $14.50 stick. Okay, it's, it's a little pricey. Uh, in my opinion, it's a little too pricey. Whereas the the other Espada, the original, costs less and actually it, it's it's a lot more flavorful cigar. Although I didn't pay fourteen fifty for these, I won them. I won a five pack <laughs> playing beat the dealer on the JR Cigars uh, beat the dealer app. So there you go. You can win. And you can win good stuff. This is a $72 package of cigars I won for free. Uh, would I pay $14.50 for this? No. Maybe $758. Bucks, but to go out and buy one, I don't think I'd spend that much personally. It is very tasty though. Don't get me wrong. So I'm going to work my way into the final third, see if anything changes, be back shortly. Okay, welcome back. The Monte Cristo Espada Estoque. Still a pretty straight burn in the final third. Flavors remain basically the same from the second to the third. Uh, rich, earthy core. Coffee, strong coffee, and the spice. The spice tapered off a bit toward the end. It's starting to burn a little hot now. Uh, once again, if this were not a torpedo, I don't think I'd have that heat. Uh, and as I said, you know, this is a $14.50 cigar. There's the label. Uh, all in all, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. 7 because I expected more of a complex flavor profile. Uh, it is a medium body, but I expected a little bit more of a... It's just more complexity. I expected to taste more things than just coffee, earth, and pepper uh, it burned relatively well had a little curve there in the beginning but it straightened itself out with no touch-ups it's well built very few visible veins nicely put together cigar I smoked for about uh, about an hour and five hour ten minutes into this so it's a good long smoke but once again if I wouldn't have gotten these for free, I don't think I would have paid $14.50 for one. So, if you want to try one, and you got the bucks to spare, like a nice medium smoke with a good identifiable flavors, but not it's not really too complex, give it a shot. Otherwise, I would recommend the uh, original Espada in one of the other sizes. Uh, I've had several of those and I'm going to be re going to be reviewing that soon and uh, I would recommend that over this because it's less costly and it's a hell of a lot more flavorful. But I'm going to say thanks for tuning in to the cigar area. I'm Mike Simmons. Please 
uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my website, thecigarareria.com. Please come on, send me an email, enter my contest, send me a picture of your cigar face, and I'll put it up on the page. Cigar face. And uh, check out the links on there. You can find the link on there for the JR Cigars store and the JR Cigars uh, Beat the Dealer app where I won this $72 five pack of cigars. So for free, it's a pretty good cigar. All in all, all I can say is see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Happy smoking. in this world for freedom.